Running, lifting, playing, summer training. A lot of hard work, but while their players prepared for season, Janet Rayfield and Erica Walsh were doing their own unique summer training. Since winning the gold medal in the 2008 Summer Olympics, the U.S. women's national soccer team was more than ready for the 2011 World Cup. And Rayfield and Walsh were right along with them. Illinois head coach Janet Rayfield and Penn State head coach Erica Walsh have faced each other several times from opposite sidelines in Big Ten play. But this past summer, they shared a sideline in a distant place, the Women's World Cup in Germany. Walsh served as an assistant coach for the U.S. squad, while Rayfield had other responsibilities. I was a scout, which meant I was watching all of the opponents, all the teams that were playing in the World Cup who were potential future opponents of the U.S. women's national team. Both coaches witnessed the growth and popularity of the Women's World Cup, experiencing and embracing the large crowds. Germany created an awesome environment for this World Cup. They were educated, um, they were anxious, they were excited. They demanded a high level of play. You would think they were coming in to watch the men's German national team. That to me was probably the biggest statement about how far women's soccer had come. During her scouting trips in Germany, Rayfield was able to watch Emily Zur, a former Illini star and member of Team Canada. After the Canadians were eliminated, Rayfield had the chance to give advice to her former pupil. I leaned over to say something and she gave me a hug and, and didn't want to let go. It was a nonverbal moment to say, you know what, a lot of people would have loved just to have been in this moment and you should be proud of being here and being a part of this. Walsh was part of AUS side featuring former Penn State defender Allie Krieger and was also able to see Maddie Evans, a junior midfielder at Penn State, who spent time in Germany training with the United States Youth Developmental Team. At the first USA match we were at, she shot me a text real quick, hey, are you here? And got to quickly meet up after the game, say hello. And aside from that, we were lucky enough to have my team go to one of the team's trainings. And that was unbelievable. She kind of looked in my eyes and gave Allie Krieger a hug, although they never formally met each other. She kind of looked at me and uh, she said, I just want to make sure that I sit, tell you one more time that this is what I want. Since returning to the States, Walsh and Rayfield shared their invaluable experience. This is obviously a scar from the World Cup, and part of the culture of our game is um, teams make these scars for their supporters. And then, of course, it wouldn't be uh, an official World Cup without the official program. And uh, I think I went to 12 games and was at the final and said, oh, I don't have an official program yet. This is the ticket to the championship match, which I went to just as a fan. An unbelievable game, unbelievable experience to be a part of that. This is our silver medal from the 2011 World Cup. This is a wonderful keepsake. There were so many different tactical systems and styles and I was able to look at players and see how different teams took advantage of the strengths of those players and I think that's what I really brought back here. Walking into local establishments and restaurants and actually kind of being recognized and supported. I kind of had to pinch myself to think is this women's soccer? Is this, is this really going on in our sport? And Ride it as long as we can. It's all I talked about is go support your WPS team and, and go support your local college team. Let's ride it while we're hot.